Besides the hail damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear from uh, a lot of people in the summertime, yeah, we had to purge the unit. What, what does that mean? What does it mean when you purge a unit? All right. I look at this drain, and they're like, yeah, it works better if it's draining down like that. All right. The problem is when you got this drain going this way and it's draining down, you're also sucking in outside air. And then what happens, too, when you're pulling in that outside air as you're trying to... Uh, uh, condensate with all that water, it starts blowing around, and then your ductwork starts getting wet and it starts stripping out of your ductwork. Most of these are not glued. I did that on purpose so that way you could pull them out, you could hose them out, and you clean them. All right, you can get it right in here with the hose, spray all this stuff out. The reason, the reason they call it a P trap is shaped like the letter P. They should call it a U trap, but it's it's a it's a P trap, all right. So when the water comes down, this pipe just can't be higher than this one. It has to have a trap on it. And I see this all the time, all the time. I see it, I see it where it's twisted down like that. If it's draining, it's working. It's good. All right. The uh, the next thing, all right. When I talk about fan motors, when one fan runs, they both run. All right, let's see what happens when I turn it on. After, after you clean a coil, um, the fans are on a cycling switch and they're not always gonna kick on right away. It's normal and you'll start to see the coil start smoking and steaming. Totally normal, it's gotta burn off all the water. So when this thing gets up to pressure, it's because it's cold outside. It'll take a minute and the fans will kick on. I want you guys, you know, to kind of hover and kind of watch if you see what's going on when the fans kick on. 